Hey guys, it's Bendy Penguin 64 Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 3. In the last episode, we met Salvatore Leone, the Don of the whole operation, and Maria, who I seem to remember not liking very much. I seem to remember that she gets very annoying as the story progresses, but hopefully I'm remembering it wrong and we'll end up loving her. And before we actually... whoops, uh, I... I accidentally jumped straight into that um, big information marker. I was trying to walk past it, but my walking was just that clumsy. Uh, yeah, I wanted to pop into the local... What? Uh, that camera angle was really weird. I parked that thing poorly, didn't I? Uh, anyway, I was in the neighborhood, wanted to pick up some uh, health from the hospital because this is actually my second attempt at recording this particular episode. Uh, I started with only 23 HP and I got absolutely destroyed, it was awful. And since this is my second attempt, I actually know what's coming, which is why I've gone and nicked a Triad fish van. So that's going to be important. The Triads have a fish factory as a front. Most of their business goes down at the fish market in Chinatown. All right. The laundry still owes us protection. They reckon the triads are protecting them now, so I say we exact a fitting for Yeah, them. here we go. Those boys over and whack the triad warlords. Hell, you can certainly guys, try. Pop some of their soldiers, too. Yeah, don't worry. You can trust me, mate. Well, sort of. I'll put my all into it, but whether or not you'll get results is yet to be seen. Uh, mate, so you getting into this van? I don't think they are. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't flip the van. Don't flip the van. We're going to need it. Uh, right. I think those guys have gotten a bit distracted. Oh, I'm sorry. Tony trusted me with those guys and I just left them. Just left them there for dead against the triads that were at the door. Okay, well, to be fair, they kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting the triads to be there. They just kind of showed up on my turf. Yeah, thanks for that. Although, to be fair, we're going to be taking the fight to their turf pretty soon. So, yeah, I guess it's to be expected. Right, but to be fair, we hadn't actually shown up at their turf yet. Although I guess we did when we dealt with Chunky Lee Chong, and thanks for that. That's my ride, completely destroyed. Well, now what am I going to do? I need a triad fish van from somewhere. If I'm going to get in... Uh, right, in that case... Uh, wait, who are you? Oh, wait, it's one of the gangsters. Okay. He's looking pretty cool. Uh, nice to see you, mate. Right, okay, he's pretty dedicated. He just followed me... Like, all the way here, unless he actually managed to get inside the um, uh, fish van and I just didn't notice, which is entirely possible. There's a police car right, right over there. Yeah, I thought so. They're suspicious. Sorry, mate. I'm not looking for trouble with the fuzz right now. I just want to steal one triad police van so that I can get into their base and shoot up a bunch of their commanding officers. But that's okay. It's, it's okay. All's fair in love and war, a wise man once said. And we are definitely at war with the triads right now, so don't worry. Once the job is done, then we can forget that this whole mess ever happened, and I will return this gentleman's vehicle. But first, I've just got to drive around aimlessly looking for a triad fish van. You know what? There's probably a much better way to do this, isn't there? Unless there's not, and this truly is the only way, just wander around aimlessly until you find exactly what you're looking for. Uh, well, there's taxis all over the place, which is pretty nice. That gives you an opportunity to... Oh, to do some side missions, but that is not what we're looking for. This is, though. So, right, mate, don't move. Don't move. Oh, there's a guy with a bat over there. Right, mate, get in. Let's let's ride. Let's run. Don't look back in anger. Don't look back at all. Let's just keep moving. None of it happened. We were never there. No one can prove anything. Unless they can. In which case, we've got to find extra proof to trump theirs. Right, so if we just go into here... Oh, careful. Don't want to flip the thing. So this will provide us access. Now, we just got to run over everyone. There we go. That'll do the job. Oh, crap, crap. Now, this thing's probably going to start smoking soon. So we've got to be careful. We've got to just kill as many of these guys as we can before that happens. And they're all dropping weapons, which is good news for me. Right, uh, there's something white over there. Is that some kind of grenade? Oh, you know what? It probably is. Oh, get out of the car, get out of the car. Okay, it hasn't started smoking yet, but it could do at any moment. Wait, come on, Stig, shoot him. Wow, Stig, you are awful at this. For some reason, he can't keep shooting repeatedly. Maybe it's the type of weapon, but come on, mate, you can do better than that. Put some effort into it, you maniac. What are you doing? What was that? What was that absolute train wreck? 
You saw that, right? I was... I'm not sure if my microphone's going to pick this up. I was tapping the circle button like an absolute maniac, just doing that, holding down the R1 button to lock onto him. Stig, your aim is shite. There was no nice way for me to put that. You have dishonoured every GTA hero ever. You know what? You, no, no. I'm no longer calling him the Stig. You do not deserve to be named after such an epic character. From now on, you, you should be known as... I'm just going to call him Claude from now on. Yeah, yeah, good job keeping up that running gag. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve to be named after such a prestigious racing driver. From now on, he will be known at, by his regular name. That's it, because I'm very upset with him. And wait a minute, did I gain some money from jacking that car? Or did I lose money? If I lost money, I'd be very surprised. Oh, and there's a little message right up there that I'm not going to read because it's for side missions. What an absolute joke. Uh, well, in that case, I guess I'd better go get some more health and I'll cut back to where I was. What an absolute waste of time. Right, tell you what, I'm not going to get a triad fish van just yet because there's some guys right next to us. I might as well take them out while I'm in the vicinity. Right, now let's not completely cock this up this time. Come on. That's it. Oh, crap, I just shot my own, my own man. Sorry, mate. I am a bit of a numpty when it comes to this shooting malarkey. Yeah, you should have seen my last attempt. It was it was awful. It was brains on the floor and everything. Very messy job because somebody doesn't know how to aim properly. Oh, for God's sake, and now the police are after me. It's okay, it's only a one-star wanted level. We could do worse. We could do vastly worse. Oh, triad fish van. Uh, I could take out some guys that are, like, in the vicinity, but I might as well get this done while I've got the opportunity. And, oh, crap! What? No, I barely drove three feet. I barely drove three feet and I got caught by the bloody... What an absolute joke. Oh, this is, t this is pathetic. Right, first I can't shoot straight when there's a guy like two inches from my face and then get busted after driving a few feet. Come on, it takes more effort than that to jack a vehicle. At the very least, Claude, lock the bloody doors. What an utter travesty. Right, I will be cutting ahead again. What an absolute train wreck this is turning out to be. And now there's no cars around for me to steal. Just wandering into an empty wasteland of a city. Oh, now there's one coming, cheers for that. I thought this was based on New York. There should be way more traffic than this. You have got to be joking. I've seen seven now, because of the one I'm just driving past now. There's seven Triad fish vans in the vicinity. That's unreal. First, I can't find out. Now they're all over the place. There's nine here. Look at that one off in the distance, just ahead. Nine Triad fish vans. Now you're giving me loads of traffic. There's a dead guy on my roof. Right, in fairness, some of those big trucks might not have been Triad Fish Vans. Some of them might have been a different kind of car because they're not technically driven by the Triads. They're just a similar shape. Right, here we go. And this time, no messing about. We're going to just go pick up that white thing, whatever it is. And, yeah, that should get the job done. Right, are there any guys around? Probably. I don't know. Hidden package. I don't want one of those. What a sad act. Oh, God. Okay, pistol this time. Wait, no, no, no. Pistol was what I used last time, and it absolutely destroyed us. Right, no, it's not worth it. Get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. If I die a third time, I'm quitting. I'm quitting for this uh, episode. I'll do it another day. Right. Wait a minute. Are they dead? Are they? They just killed themselves. Surely. There were still two people running around, like, as I was legging it. They killed themselves, surely, unless, like, I don't know, I popped a bullet in two of them and they died of their wounds. Okay, then, fair enough. Oh, that's a pretty cool mechanic. There you go, they die of blood loss eventually. Huh, yeah, pretty cool idea. Except it's probably just a glitch and they probably did end up killing themselves. Right, in that case, now we got to go sort out the other two places. I've been recording for 15 minutes. Oh, dear. Right. Uh, in that case, yeah, this is going to be a very dis disjointed episode. And before I continue, I almost forgot. Where's the hospital? I want to fill up my health a bit. 
Where is it? Ah, this is it. This is it. I know this road. This is where the hospital is. Portland View. This is what we're looking for. So if we just... Wait, what? Oh, wait, hang on. What happened there? What happened to the camera angle? I pressed the triangle button and the square button at the same time. Wait, is it because I'm an, um, at an odd angle? Oh, crap. And now it's... No, no, no. Get out. Get out the car. I don't know what happened there. I was trying to get out of it and it didn't quite work. Hey, hey, mate. Stop. Stop. I just want to get this over with. Uh, right. Can I just go kill some folks? Yeah, please. I just want to get this out of the way. Oh, no, no, this is it. We're, we're going into the danger zone. Chinatown, we're not welcome here. Right, I guess we're going all out with a shotgun. Right, now if we can just kill the guy with the big arrow, that's all we need. What are you doing? Kill him. There we go. Now run, run, put the shotgun away. We can run faster. Okay, only, oh, okay, only took seven points of damage. That's nice. What are they doing? What are those guys in the blue suits doing? Because I'm pretty sure that they work for the triads. So, are they just shooting each other? Is this it? Because I killed their commanding officer, they couldn't live with the shame, so they started massacring themselves. Well, GTA just got a whole lot more brutal than it already was, and it was pretty brutal to begin with. No, no, stay down, stay down. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'm not having it. How have you not died yet? $30,000. Even at that price, it's not worth it. That's impossible. He took that many shotgun bullets to the chest from that distance. How was he still getting up? All right, credit where it's due. That guy was a champ. That guy was an absolute maniac. And now there's another one with... Oh, there's two of them with baseball bats running after me. Leave me alone. Right, you. Stay right where you are. I have no intention of getting my face smacked in. Not any more than it's already been. Oh, God. If I get busted now, I'm going to... I'm going to be furious. Right. Well, after that sad act, uh, I've only done one mission, and because of all the cuts, it's probably going to add up to uh, about seven minutes. Uh, maybe a bit longer, I don't know. And wow, the steering on this machine is utter rubbish. What a sad, sad piece of car engineering. What a rubbish thing we've got here. Well, anyway, while I'm in the neighborhood, uh, are the braking's awful as well. Yeah, while well, I'm in the neighborhood, I want to save my progress because, yeah. Anyway, I'll cut ahead to when I start another mission. And you know what? After Tony put me through absolute hell, I think I'm going to go for Joey. Actually, you know what? No, let's go for Salvatore because we haven't seen too much of him. Yeah, we want to give the Don some love. So I'm just going to save here so that I don't have to worry about losing my progress. And then we can go see how the Don's doing. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. I'll tell you what, Rockstar, this truck that you have given me right here is utter crap. What an absolute stupid thing to be driving around. It turns like you're trying to move, like, I don't even know what I compare this to. It's like I'm trying to turn a big ship, like a big cruise liner or whatever. Seriously, it's so stiff. Feels like I'm lugging 2,000 tons of summer. What a sad act. Right, Salvatore, please. Oh, no. Oh, I wasn't looking forward to this. I was hoping that he was going to give me an easier time. No, I remember this. This one's hard. And now we're back to capitalising it. Because of course we are. Mm-hmm. Reasonable conclusion, mate. Yeah, sure thing. Depends if I get killed first, though. Because I seem to remember that this one's pretty tricky. Well, hopefully I'm remembering it wrong. I just seem to remember that in this mission, cutting the grass, yeah, something bad happens. And I'm most definitely not taking that. I'm going to be riding around in style. Mafia Sentinel all the way. No trouble. Right, so... Uh, I th think we got to drive to Luigi's first and follow him from there. I think that's what he's saying. Not quite sure. Oh, I'll just follow the pink dot, see what happens. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of in a bad mood right now because of all those initial failures. Been recording for 21 minutes and 32 seconds uh, at this point in time without any edits. Because, like, of course, a bunch of failures at first and then I had to go and save. So that took an extra couple of minutes. Right, here we go. Oh, wait, I remember this. 
I remember this. Yeah, right here, we want to just hide out and not let him actually see us. I think. Wait, hang on. Ah, uh, Wait, am I supposed to get in this taxi, actually? No, I'm not. Right, okay. Excuse me, excuse me, mate. I can't quite remember how this works, but I seem to remember that it's this mission, Cutting the Grass, where we follow the taxi, and then... Oh, wait, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Oh, maybe I'm not. I seem to remember that there was some kind of epic chase involving rival gangsters. Like, uh, I seem to remember that we had to go to some kind of diner, then these rival gangsters show up out of nowhere, and we have to escape from them. Maybe it's not cutting the grass, maybe it's something else. Right, hopefully I'm wrong, because trust me, I love it when I'm wrong. Yeah, hopefully I've made a mistake and cutting the grass is actually pretty simple. Well, it's clearly not because the spookometer keeps going up. Yeah, we don't want to tail too closely. Maintain a distance. Claude, back up. Backing up. Backing up. Backing up. Okay, here we go. And unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be an actual icon for the taxi on the radar. So we've got to keep it in our sights. And that's kind of tricky to do because I'm not using the biggest TV to watch this. But, right, okay, here we go. we just got to follow him here. Right, hopefully this turns out all right. Yeah, we don't want to get too close. This is this is good. This is a good distance. It was. It was a good distance. Then the spookometer meter started. The spookometer meter. What a... Gee, that was redundant. Yeah, the spookometer suddenly shot up. Right, this is it. This is pretty tedious, actually. There is a crazy guy behind me that keeps honking his horn. Hey, I'm sorry, mate, but I've got some tight restrictions to deal with here. All right, if I get too close to that guy, he's going to have a hissy fit, and then I've failed. Oh, he's turning in, though. Don't worry, my fine fellow. I'll just let you continue what you were doing in a second, because I don't want to go jumping in there too fast. And I have one of my uh, Uzis or SMGs up there, so hopefully that's going to be useful for shooting, because for some reason, shotguns and pistols just don't do it for this guy. All right, here we go. Okay, I think this is going to be a simpler mission, actually. Oh, no, it's her. Oh, oh no, I forgot. Okay, I guess we see her sooner in the, so in the story than I remember. Uh-huh. Oh, I thought that Catalina didn't appear until the very end, but... Uh, no, I guess not. Here she is. Forgot about this. The Ferellis, that's what I was afraid of. Seem to remember that they give me uh, give us a lot of trouble, rather, uh, at some point in the future. Like, those are the rival gangsters that I was worried about. But yeah, I definitely seem to remember that uh, it gave me a lot of trouble. Hopefully it's not as hard as I remember. Right, here we go. Now, if we just run him over... But yeah, we don't even need a gun. Just run him over with a car. Then everything should be coming up clawed. Where are you? Wait. Oh, Christ! Jesus! That was a precision shot. That man. What a legend. That was some precision shooting, and he has earned my respect. But he was caught in the explosion, so we can't be that smart. Oh, what? Oh, don't tell me he's good with a shotgun. Jesus, that was absolutely diabolical. Right, okay, first he places a precision shot on, on my car, and then shoots me in the chest with a shotgun. Fortunately, I'm pretty resilient as well, and I didn't intend to do that. Yeah, around Liberty City, you find those little drug thingies which slow down time for you. Now, I guess that was uh, probably a big point of controversy back in the day. Yeah, they let you do drugs in a video game. Ooh. <laughs> but, um, yeah, what was I saying? Whoa. I think even the page is going in slow motion. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that detail. That's fun. But, um, yeah, okay, fair enough. Curly Bob is an absolute mastermind at uh, wielding a gun. Mastermind at wielding a gun, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, like, he is, he is a real sharp shooter, and it's a Yankee, what a stupid thing. Yeah, he's he's half decent with that gun, just precision shoots the engine, sends the whole thing up in flames. Then he shoots me with a shotgun and does a, quite a bit of damage. See that, Claude? Why can't you do that? Hey, what was stopping you from doing, uh, like that with a gun? Like, whether it was a pistol or a shotgun or whatever, why can't you be that accurate? Hey, when we're going after the triads, what an absolute sad act. Uh, do I want to do another mission now that I think about it? Because uh, I've been recording for about 26 minutes. 
and mm, the first one took quite a while to finish so I'm not sure how long that's going to translate to in terms of the episode and the second one was pretty short only took a few minutes although eh, you know what now nah, better safe than sorry I don't want these episodes to be too long so yeah I guess that's about it for today we didn't make too much progress but oh well we took out a few more triads which is good news for Tony because yeah we don't like those guys and we also whacked Curly Bob which is good news for Salvatore Leone because yeah now we don't have to worry about uh, too much grassing anymore and yeah that will do okay there we go overwriting that data lovely and on that note I guess that will do it for today so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time I don't know why that ending was so awkward I suddenly forgot my patent pending uh, outro dialogue it's not patent pending that was a joke don't get your knickers in a twist